Hey guys, it's been a while. I have not made a YouTube video in almost a year. Um, I've been busy. <laughs> but uh, I'm trying to get back into the swing of things. Uh, I had a little bit of a rough year. But um, things are starting to look a little bit better. Excuse my mess. I am trying to get out some of my uh, newer paintings. I'm getting ready to... Uh, Put up on Facebook. This is one of the ones I was talking about. Um, if you're a fan on the Facebook group, and uh, I have started using palette knives, and it's something new to me. I've always kind of had a fear of palette knives. Don't know why, but uh, I've started to love them, and I've never quite understood abstract art. But um, as I just started kind of playing around with this. I fell in love with it and started to really understand um, putting your emotion into the canvas. And, you know, it's not everybody's cup of tea. I understand that. Some people look at it and say, you know, my kindergarten can do that. I get it. I completely get it. But there are certain discerning eyes that can look at a abstract painting and they can understand the feeling behind it. They can read what the artist is putting into it without there being a certain subject to it. Um, which is kind of what um, I've been trying to portray with these. Um, this was my very first one. I was actually going to turn this into a silhouette. Um, I had a painting that I had saved in my phone quite some time ago that I kind of wanted to recreate and uh, this was <laughs> beginning to be the uh, what it was going to be but um, it doesn't look anything like it but I, I, I kind of struggled with if I wanted to put the silhouette on there or not and I kind of like it as is but um Excuse my mess. We're getting Christmas decorations up. Um, I also talked about my second piece. Which, here it is. This is one that... I'm not going to talk about it too much. For some reason, I cry every time I look at it every time I start thinking about it I was listening to a lot of music when I was painting it um, my mind kind of went on autopilot when I was painting it and my body just kind of took over and it's 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 weird I've never had that happen before yeah and I know I'm going to probably sound like a crazy person I am a little bit of a crazy person but I don't care um, but yeah I have never connected with one of my paintings before ever <laughs> at this deep of a uh, connection um, I even this one I called heartbreak and I had even if you can see it very lightly excuse my messy hands um, I had even scratched a half of a heart here and then the other half was right here. But um, I think this one, I'm actually, the more I think about it, the more I want to keep it. <laughs> but at the same time, I don't want to walk by it every single day or stare at it every day. And remember the pain that I put into it and cry. So I'm actually trying to put all of that behind me and move forward. So... Um, it was a very therapeutic session to put it all, you know, put it all on the canvas. And uh, I plan on doing some more of these. I really enjoyed it. I hope others do. I hope others can see and feel what I felt. Um, maybe not quite as strong. I don't want people to look at my art and cry. That's totally the wrong impression um but i definitely have some more that uh i'm working on so yeah as you can see 
I'm gonna try to do some happier ones. I'm gonna have a uh, old painting that I started. That's the first old painting I've done since uh, early college, so about 20 years. So I just wanted to touch base. Um, I'm gonna try to do some more YouTube videos uh, and uh, get a little bit more engagement going. Um, you know, that monetization could always help, <laughs> help, you know, build up my supplies. That's my lonely little supply, you know, section right over there. Uh, what little bit I bring in goes right back into, uh, the business. So, but thank you guys for all your support for sticking around by my side for these past couple of years. Um. I really appreciate it, and uh, keep an eye out. I've got new stuff coming out. Just loaded a couple of new things on Etsy, so I'm getting ready to share those to social media. So keep an eye out for those, and I will see y'all soon. Take care.